Hi guys and happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a beautiful Wednesday. We had a very fun Wednesday. And um, of course I hung out with the Record King and uh, it was very fun. And we have a new Record King story to tell because <laughs> there were so many of them. Um, the craziest things happened there and uh, <laughs> so we always have good stories. But anyway, first things first, I went to um, the thrift store uh, first thing. I stopped in the local thrift. I just felt like going. And um, I found some cool things. And I also, um, today, found the Samuel Adams holiday pack that has the old Fezziwig ale. Now, old Fezziwig is um, one of my favorites, and they they don't do it in a six pack. They only put it in the holiday pack, or the holiday 12 pack. And um, I see this year they changed the label. It used to be really, really pretty with artwork and everything. Now they just put Sam Adams Old Fezziwig. But it is the Old Fezziwig Ale, and I wish I had it before Christmas. But we are still in our Christmas season, so it's okay. So here we go. First time in probably two or three years that I've actually had Old Fezziwig. Rich and spiced. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just as good as I remember it. Alright, so. Uh, started out at the thrift. Found a couple of things. I found something great for Craig. Um... I got one mail item, and it is Ozzy Osbourne and Motorhead doing Hellraiser. Limited edition 10-inch vinyl featuring 2021 mashup remix of Hellraiser plus the original version by versions by Ozzy and Motorhead. How cool is that? I got that on uh, Merch Bar. Merch Bar has a lot of great vinyl. If you haven't shopped for vinyl on Merch Bar, you need to go there and check it out. All right, so the first thing I found in the thrift, it was when they um, they just rolled a car out, and um, this was on it, and I grabbed this for Craig the Record King, and it's right here. He loved it, and I thought it would be perfect in the store, and it was. Just perfect where we put it. All right. Also over there, I found um, this rack thing. I have uh, three individual racks on the back, hanging racks, on the back of my front door. Um, to hang coats and stuff, but this one has five hooks and it goes right over the top of the door So I thought that was better than the three that I have up there. I found this adorable Rudolph wooden snow gauge. Look at them How cute Rudolph and then a measure for the snow. <laughs> Believe me We've had way more than 12 inches of snow here and uh Rudolph would be buried in some of those storms, but this is really, really cute for the front garden. Well, I found these little demi task cups, which I need. A little espresso um, cups, because I, um, I'm getting a, another Turkish coffee pot, um, because I love Turkish coffee, and... Uh, used to drink it a lot back in the day, but now um, I'm getting a new Turkish coffee pot and I needed the little demi tasse cups to drink it in. And I found one more thing, which is so beautiful. Oh my God. This was also just rolled out with the um, thing that I got for Craig with that music note. And it is a beautiful Asian Thing, box footed bowl basically with a lid very beautiful and it has a stainless bowl inside so 
You could actually put anything in there. Really cool. And that is a removable ball. It has a, uh, what do you call it? Like a plastic or rubber lid on top to hold it in. Just a beautiful thing. Isn't that gorgeous? It was just rolled out with the music note and uh, that's why I was able to grab them. I was one of the first people to look at that cart. So it was really, really fun. Um, and it was just put out. These were just put out today. That's why they weren't gone. And uh, every, basically everything on the shelves was still all the same as the other day. I'm gonna say they're Monday. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was Monday. So uh, when they roll out a new cart with good stuff, I'm always excited. So we were in Record King. <laughs> First of all, uh, some of the people just blow my mind, but um, like me and Lena have been wearing our masks there all the time. Like we wear our masks when we're in the store because you know, people just aren't careful. So there was a man who came in. Craig knew of him. He knew who he was. You know, he was coming to uh, order some CD mixes or whatever. And he had no mask on and he kept saying well you know the virus is spreading like wildfire and I don't know how it's spreading and meanwhile he's talking like three inches from Craig's face with no mask on and I felt like saying that's how it's spreading you idiot you know that is how it's spreading how stupid can you honestly be and this guy was a guy who pulled into the parking lot tried to back into one of the parking spaces and only got about a quarter of a way into the parking space before stopping the car and turning it off completely blocking our driveway so I mean come on really <laughs> and I want to say something to every one of these people I do but you know I just leave the room because I, I just can't stand stupidity so he's there for a while he leaves uh the doorbell rings and we were like hmm, somebody that doesn't know uh that they can come right on in so lena answers the door me and craig are in the kitchen getting a brew craig is making a cocktail and um she comes in and quietly says there's there's somebody here he's he's um uh, He's an officer. And Craig is like, hold on, I, I have a bottle in my hand. And I was like, oh my God, because he doesn't hear very well, you know? So he didn't hear the officer part. So in walks a detective. Did I tell you? I think I told you. The across the street gas station was robbed uh, the day before Christmas Eve. The owner came over to ask if we had security cameras and we said yeah you know we do but we don't know how to really work them and um, so the detective came looking for the security cameras all right so here we are I'm I, I just pulled a beer out of the fridge Craig was mixing this cocktail a, um, a detective walks in I have my Merle Allen serial killer jacket on right it's like what is wrong with this picture you know what I mean so I was like quickly put my beer back on the shelf you know off on the counter where it couldn't be seen from the other room Craig walks out with his cocktail and the officer has all these questions for us you know can I see the security cameras where Craig is like getting nervous and talking too much you know I that's how he gets so I don't know how to use them I you know blah 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 so um, I was standing right next to the cop with my serial killer jacket on and um, we just left once he left he said you know thanks I started talking about vinyl cool cop started talking about vinyl and how kids don't know anything about vinyl but you know they should and they'd be amazed you know you put the needle on the record and music plays and um, then he left. And afterwards, we just 
burst out laughing. Like we just all looked at my jacket and said, oh my God, do you believe it? He's going to think we're insane. He's going to have um, a town cop parked across the street all the time watching us now, you know? So funny. But this is a story that will that we'll tell uh, all the time now from here on because it's just too funny. The day I decide to wear my serial killer jacket, a detective walks into the store and I'm standing right next to him with my serial killer jacket. <laughs> and uh, just too funny. I love this jacket. This is my jacket from uh, Merle Allen, G.G. Allen's brother. He, uh, you know, of course, he uh, his band is the Murder Junkies. He made this jacket. It is a one of a kind, and I love it. I never wore it to Record King before because I never wanted to get it dirty. But um, because it's, it cost me a lot of money. This is a work of art. This is a piece of art, and uh, I don't want to get it dirty. Craig's like, how are you going to get dirty here? I said, are you kidding me? The crap that comes in, the records we have to go through. But today I said, I'm not going to dig through any records. I'm just going to wrap the... Uh... Oh my God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The battery is low. I just charged. This must be a bad battery. I better put it aside because this happened to us before. All right, let me change it, guys, and we will continue our chat. All right. <laughs> okay. So, now I don't even remember what I was still talking about because the stupid battery. I, I marked it. I marked the battery. I put, a per, I put a mark on it so I don't reuse it. I found, uh, I was doing some research this morning, I found a new action cam that has an actual screen and a gimbal, and I'm really excited about it. I've never seen it before. I think it just came out in, I think the, what do you call it, the, what do you call this, the prototypes came out in April of 2021 that's when YouTubers uh, started to review them. You know, the, the ones that get the um, pre uh, to put uh, their opinion out there, let, let them know what's wrong with them, and what's good about them. But this one looks amazing and I'm really, really excited about it for the summer and travel and out and about because the GoPro is great. I do love the GoPro. Um, it gives me a problem once in a blue moon, like it won't shut off sometimes, and sometimes it gets hot, and, uh, I mean, I use it a lot, but, um, I'm really excited to, uh, use this one. Very, very excited for out and about. It's still a small camera, but it has a screen. It has a pull-out screen. It's just a beautiful thing, and having the gimbal is really fun because it'll be very, very smooth built-in gimbal beautiful camera it also uh, spins around 360 so that you can um, selfie uh, vlog with it so I'm really uh, pretty excited about it um, I ordered that today from Adorama camera in New York City what else did I want to talk about um, we're coming up on Christmas Eve and uh, so we'll have Christmas Eve toast with the core five. This this time we made sure. I said the five out of the six, but there is only a core five, not six. I said that the other day. So the other day there were four of the five core um, people there. Peter was not there, but he said he will be there this time. So. <clears throat> Anyway, oh, all right, so let's talk about my jacket from Merle Allen. I love this jacket. It is, like I said, a one-of-a-kind. Merle wears his own art, and um, being a horror fan, being a heavy-duty horror fan, this is real-life horror, you know what I mean? And me and Skeety are pretty much obsessed with documentaries about serial killers and things like that. Very fascinating subject. So this one has all of the uh, 
classic uh, serial killers on it. But my favorite is, of course, Ed Gein. Crazy. One of the craziest people that ever lived. And this has a great Gein picture on it. This has Kaczynski. It has, of course, Pogo the Clown. Um, we have Manson is down here. We have this right here, Ed Gein in his skin clothing. Very fabulous. This is just an amazing piece of art. Um, that's Pogo. Um, we have Dahmer. It's just really great. And at the very bottom, it's, uh, and we have the, uh, uh, what is it? the Night Stalker over here. And at the bottom it says Murder Junkies, which is, of course, Merle's band. So, one of kind jacket. I'm the only one that has this particular jacket. And uh, I love it. I love it. And Merle also sent me an autograph picture along with this of the Murder Junkies, and he signed it. So, that's a perfect thing for the record... Uh, the record room there and um i love my jacket <laughs> it's a really cool jacket to have it on when a detective arrives though that's pretty insane right i thought that was really funny i said yep that's another great record king story so anyway guys that was it that's the day uh, I wrapped a lot of um, stuff for the mail today. We had a, we sold a lot over the holiday um, weekend. You know, when Craig wasn't there, he said that um, factory was insanely busy um, the past two days. <clears throat> even Sunday, the Sunday after Christmas, were crazy. Um, we're crazy busy. But he's only he himself is only there Monday and Tuesday. They are open seven days though. And I said, well, everybody got money for Christmas or whatever, and they went to spend it on records, you know. And um, so we had a lot of catch-up to do with uh, packing up of sold stuff. And there's going to be more tomorrow, because he was still printing out when I left. So, and New Year's Eve, I won't be there for too long. I don't want to stay all day. I want to come back and hang with you guys. And then New Year's Day, I'll be cooking. I love one of the things I love to do. I love to just cook, and I like to cook in my mother's kitchen because there's lots of room. <laughs> so uh, it'll be fun. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Wednesday. Comment, subscribe, spread the love. Tink merch below, Radio Tink podcast link below, and until next time, remember, I love you all.